How's it going, guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Wi-Fi battle. Today, we're going to battle versus Trixie in the Smogon overused tier. Stick around till the end for a bonus battle, and with that being said, let's jump straight into the game. And the battle begins. Good luck, have fun, Trixie. So they're going to lead off with Ariel, the Primarina, nice and shiny, as we lead off with Palindrome, the Aloma Mola. Did I just say that right? I think I did just say that right. That is awesome. Anyway, do we flip turn straight away or do we take a Moonblast like a champ? I think we can take a Moonblast like a champ anyway. Um, so I want to go for the flip turn. But of course, before we get right into the nitty gritty of the battle, leave a like and subscribe to the channel right now. Otherwise, Aloma Mola will wish for your Nintendo Switch to burn and die. <laughs> Wait, what? No, wait. Right, let's go. They go for a flip turn first, which is great. So we get the slow flip turn, which is amazing. And they're going to go back. What are they going to go into, though? Are they going to go into the Dragapult, maybe? Um, it depends, really, what they want to have um, take on the Aloma Mola, really. So I, I think Dragapult's probably the one. Uh, Ice Skip Arm Day. That's going to be Dragapult, right? Yeah, of course it is. Look at his little hands. Look at his little hands. We go for a flip turn. That's going to do no damage, but it breaks a potential sash. Not that they would really. I don't think drag ball with sash is a thing, but, you know, it, it could be. Never mind. You never know. You never know. So we could go Shandy and just outspeed this thing in Shadow Ball in the face. And that is exactly what I'm going to try and do. So we'll bring in Parahax, the Chandelure. If you want to know why it's called Parahax, I can't tell you. It's like an inside joke. Um, so if you get it, you get it. If you don't, then... You, you don't. <laughs> uh, let's go for a Shadow Ball right up because it does kind of hurt everything on the team. To be fair, even the Pre-Marina doesn't really appreciate it. So they withdraw. They're going to go probably into the Pre-Marina if it's Assault Vest. As uh, Ariel does come back in. So I'm guessing it's Assault Vest. Let's see how much damage it takes from the Shadow Ball first and foremost though. Uh, before we make any decisions on what set we think this Pre-Marina is. And that looks like Assault Vest damage to me. But we do get the Special Defense drop. Not that it matters too much because we are still going to have to switch out here. I'm leaning, I don't know what to go into really. I'm, I'm, I'm expecting them to go for a flip turn, to be honest with you. So I do, I want, I'll go back into Aloma Mola. Aloma Mola can probably take two Moonblasts from an Assault Vest Pre Marina. Not if it was Choice Specs though. But we can probably take two Moonblasts, which shouldn't be a problem. So let's go into this. They go for a Hyper Voice, which is going to do no damage, which is great. So they probably predicted a switch out into something else. Or they just wanted to go for the KO on the Chandelier. I mean, either or is fair. It's fair enough. Um, so we'll go for a slow flip turn once again. Because they, we know that Moonblast is not going to KO us. They may stay in and go for the Moonblast though, that's the thing. They do stay in and go for a Moonblast. It's going to do a nice bit of damage, but um, not enough to make me worry too much. Because we're going to get that Regenerator anyway, so Flip Turn comes through. And we're going to go back. So now what are we going to? I'm leaning towards Rev of Room. I'm leaning towards Rev of Room just to scare this thing out. So I'm going to go into Rev of Room, go into Noom real quick. There we go. So we float in the air on the air balloon. So basically, we can go for a gunk shot here. They have to go Skarmory. They have to go Skarmory. Um, because they will lose the pre marina And pre marina is like one of the only things that stops like my Iron Valiant, my Chandelure. So if we assume they're going to go Skarmory, we should go in something to take care of that. I am... I am leaning towards going for an Iron Head just to break the, um, the Sturdy on the Skarmory. So I think I will go for the Iron Head. They do withdraw. I could have made the double there, but at the same time, I was like, you know what? I'm going to break the Sturdy on the Skarmory. They bring in Slay King XD, which is the Slow King. Interesting. We go for an Iron Head. It's going to sting a little bit. There we go. Stings quite a little bit. Uh, now I'm going to go for a High Horsepower and just get some damage off on this Slow King because it's obviously a big threat. There we go. High Horsepower comes through. Cleanly takes out the Slow King. There we go. Rev of Room coming through with the KO on the Slow King. That's one less poke one. For us to be worried about, that's bulky. Oh, I say that, their whole team is pretty bulky. They've got Skarmory, they've got Gouging Fire, Primarina with the Assault Vest. In comes the Dragapult. The Dragapult is obviously a threat. However, I believe we can take a Flamethrower from this thing if we tear a ground, but I'm not going to waste my Terra just yet because I know for a fact that um, they, they they won't go for a Dragon move. They probably go for a Flamethrower. So I'm leaning towards the Aloma Mola switch, but we don't know what set they are. If, if we go into Aloma Mola now, which I am going to do, and they whip out the Shadow Ball instead of the Flamethrower, or they go for a Dragon Dance, then we're kind of boned. So let's go into Palindrome, the Aloma Mola. Uh, they go for the Draco on the Switch. No! As down goes Aloma Mola, but not everything is lost. Aloma Mola being down is unfortunate because it really walled that Gouging Fire. Um, but at the same time, it's like they're low on special attack right now. We could easily go into our Salamence and we could Dragon Dance. I don't actually have um, fire coverage on the Salamence. Um, so I'm leaning towards something else. I'm leaning towards the Great Tusk to get the Stealth Rocks up. To be honest with you. Or an Earthquake. 
because they have their great Tusk in check. And Stealth Frogs don't exactly really hurt their team. It only really hurts the Gouging Fire. Um, it breaks the Sturdy on the Skarmory, though, at the same time. I think I'll go into my uh, Shandy. I'll go into good old Shandy here. And what I'll do is I'll just go straight for the basic Shadow Ball. There's no reason not to. They have to switch out into the Pre Marina actually, so I might go for a trick. But I kind of want the sh I want the Choice Scarf on the Chandelure to outspeed this thing, so I might go for an Energy Ball. And it, it Shadow Ball won't KO us from them because the minus two in Special Attack. So I think we go for an Energy Ball here, expecting the Pre Marina to come in. So they do withdraw the Dragon Pool. Are they going to go Pre Marina here? I hope so. Fire is gouging. <laughs> That's a cool nickname actually. I like that. Uh, Fire is gouging is going to come in. They're going to get that booster energy, which is going to activate their booster energy in what's attack? Okay, that's fine. We went for the energy ball, expecting the pre-marina to come in, which is not going to work out well for us at all. Um, other than getting a special defense drop, which is really clean. So what do we do now? I mean, what do we do now? Because we don't really have much to hit this thing. It's got a pro in attack. I guess we go into our um, Great Tusk. I think that's the way to go. It's, it's defensive Great Tusk. It can definitely take a hit from this thing, no problem. They may go for a Dragon Dance here, and if they do, I'm sure we can take a Scale Shot, no problem, if they are Scale Shot. They go for a Dragon Dance. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. Um, I think. I don't know. This Gouging Fire could pull this back real quick. Um, but if it has a Contact move, we're going to get Rocky Helmet Chip. So I'm going to go for the EQ, because I don't want to mess around with this Gouging Fire. If they go for a Burning, burning Bulwark, um, then we won't get any burn, because it's not Headlong Rush. As they go for another Dragon Dance, they're setting up on my, my Great Tusk. That is annoying, so... Um, Great Tusk getting set up all over, but the Earthquake should still sting a little bit, and I don't think they have any recovery moves on it, unless they have Morning Sun. Um, that does a lot of damage. A lot of damage, to the point where they can't even Morning Sun that. They have to attack right now. What are they going to attack us with, though? That's the real question. Because they're at plus two in a bit. Uh, oh, they go for a Dragon Claw. Nah. <laughs> Great Tusk just takes that like a champ. Defensive Great Tusk is actually one of my favorite Pokemon. Like, one of my favorite sets to use in OU. Um, just purely because nothing can kill it on the physical side, you know? I should have gone for a Stealth Rocks there. I, I, I kind of assumed they'd have Scale Shot, you know? Um, or something along those lines. But anyway, Aerial comes in. We do kind of have to switch here because we can't take a hit from this thing. And they no doubt outspeed us since we are low on speed. Uh, what do I go into, though, if we assume that they can hit us with anything? We might have to let Great Tusk go down. I'm going to try and set up the Stealth Rocks. I might outspeed because if they're, if, they're, if they're no speed, then we might outspeed. We get the Stealth Rocks up, which is fine. We outspeed, which is great. Um, now what's this pre-marina gonna do to us? That's the real question. They're gonna go for a flip turn Which isn't gonna do much damage. They could have KO'd us there, but we luckily avoided that And um, but I didn't have a switch in. I don't have a switch into pre-marina on, on my team at all I don't have a switch in. Moonblast hits everything really hard and anything that Moonblast doesn't hit then Hyper Voice does. Caddy hates Corviknight <laughs> So it's gonna be a Skarmory. Nice and shiny. I love it. Love it. Love it. Uh, Skarmory is here. They don't get defog, so I'm going to go for a knockoff real quick just to get rid of its item, whatever it has. A rocky helmet, maybe. So knockoff comes through. We get rid of that rocky helmet. Yep, rocky helmet is gone. There we go. And now they go for a stealth rock of their own, but we can just rapid spin the next turn. So I'm, I am just going to rapid spin the next turn. We don't have to worry about the rocky helmet chip, so uh, I'm going to rapid spin the next turn. and uh, may as well get rid of them. Stealth Rocks. <laughs> don't want them on our side of the field, that's for sure. And now that they don't have Rocky Helmets, we can just Rapid Spin for days. They go for a Spikes, though. I'm not I'm not letting you get your hazards up. I'm not letting you get your hazards up, alright? I'm going to Rapid Spin again this next turn. And I'm going to keep Rapid Spinning until you just Brave Bird me in the face already. So we go for a Rapid Spin again. Slowly whittling down the Skarmory, which is nice. Um, and then they're probably going to go for another those Spikes, right? Body Press. Okay, so Body Press comes through. Does a nice bit of damage. We get some Rocky Helmet chip, which is always great. Um, and now I'm going to go for a... I'm just going to go for a knockoff just to get a bit more damage on them. Because they probably finish us off with a body press at this point, right? Yeah, they finish us off with a body press. So Skarmory goes... Takes us down. And we do get some Rocky Helmet chip. So that Skarmory is now weakened to the point where I'm in the, I mean, I'm in the mood to not care. So, uh, about about its um, defensive prowess with my Reverend Room and my uh, Salamence. But they could go for a... They could go for anything, really. I I'm going to go into Chandelure. Because Shadow Ball hits everything really hard on that team. So, we'll go into Shandy. And I highly doubt they're Terra Normal. So, we can go straight for a Shadow Ball here. They pretty much have to go either Great Tusk or Pre Marina. Great Tusk only if it's defensive enough. But they don't. They stay and they let the Skarmory go down, which is a respectable play. That is pretty much all they could do. The critical hit didn't matter, as we know, because it's at low HP. 
Um, so I, if there's going to be hacks in the game, I'm glad it's hacks where it doesn't matter. <laughs> In comes Ariel once again. So I do need my chandelier, I think, to win this game. I really need the chandelier to win this game. Or do I? Or do I? Or do I? Do I? Do I? Do I? Do I? Um, I'm going to go in. I'm going to go ahead and I, I don't need Salamence, that's for sure. I'm going to sack off Salamence to... I, I think they go for a Hyper Voice, but they could go for a Moonblast predicting the Salamence to come in, which is ideal because I want a free switch with Reverend Room. So we get the Intimidate off, which doesn't mean anything. To a pre-marina. They do go for a hyper voice, which is going to do no damage. Which is great. So Salamence can come in now. And I, I want to go for an Iron Head or an Earthquake. I think I'll go for an Earthquake here. Um, just to get damage off on the pre-marina. It'll probably KO, to be fair. We go for the EQ. That is going to take out the pre-marina, I'm guessing. Yes, so pre-marina goes down. Salamence comes through. Like so. There we go. Non-binary comes in. Is that the Great Tusk? It is the Great Tusk. Nice and shiny. Because we've already seen um, Skip Tarm Day on the Dragapult. So, uh, we can't really do anything to this thing. Um, we basically have to get a free switch in somehow with Reverb Room. Uh, Reverb Room could win us the game. They haven't Terrored yet, so we need to be careful. So, I think what I'll do is I'll just go for a Dragon Claw straight up. Just get some damage off on this Great Tusk. I lose a decent bit of damage. They go for a nice spinner, though. That's definitely going to take care of Salamence. So, Salamence does go down. But I don't really have the best switch into the Great Tusk. Because Great Tusk is a powerful Pokemon, hard to switch into, and it looks like they're an offensive variant. They are leftovers as well, which is good to know. So, the, what is the game plan here? I, I'm leaning towards... If, they probably have Headlong Rush. So, I'm leaning towards going for um, Reverb Room's Shift Gears. I am going to go into Reverb Room's Shift Gear. I'm going to go into Reverb Room and Shift Gear, because we've got the Air Balloon, so we are immune to the Headlong Rush. There's the Air Balloon. We now go for a Shift Gear, try and get our um, boosts and everything, so we can outspeed that Dragapult, potentially. So they go for a rapid spin, which is interesting. They still outspeed my Reverb Room, so they are an offensive Great Tusk, which is good to know. Um, the balloon just popped, which is unfortunate. We go for a shift gear, though. There we go. Shift gear comes through, and that gives us plus two speed. So we definitely outspeed the Great Tusk now. However, do we want a Terror here? Does Reverb Room want a Terror? I think Reverb Room wants the Terror here, because we're going to be a Terror Ground, which means we can actually take a hit from this thing. A Headlong Rush, for example. Um, so I'm going to Terra Ground, and it's high horsepower better than Iron Head. It is, but it's 95% accurate. I think we go for the Terra high horsepower right now, because that way we can take a headlong rush, potentially. Um, but also, we can hit them with Stab high horsepower, which is powerful than Iron Head Stab. So that's, that's going to be great. So we'll Terra Ground with Reverb Room. I don't think we need Terra for anything else. So this should work out all right. So there we go. Reverb Room comes through. High horsepower also comes through, which is great. And that's going to sting the Great Tusk a little bit. Not too much. Not too much. As they go for a Supercell Slam. Yes. They were expecting Terra Flying, weren't they? They've got to have been expecting Terra Flying. Got to have been. So Great Tusk goes down. We are in a very good position right now because I'm pretty confident high horsepower will take out the Dragapult. If it doesn't, we go down to Drake and Meteor. It's not the end of the world. So I Skip Arm Day comes through. There we go. Can a high horsepower KO? Can River Room win the game? I hope so. Let's go for the high horsepower real quick. High horsepower comes through. We don't miss, which is nice. Um, and that's going to definitely do a lot of damage. Is it KO? Is KO in the Dragapult? So River Room won us the game. I don't think we needed River Room. I think Iron Valiant could have come in there and bit the boost energy and speed and that sped them all. But um, I noticed they didn't Terra. Or did they? Did I did I miss the Terra? I think I might have missed the Terra, but... Uh, either way, GG Tricks, that was a pretty fun one. I enjoyed that. And it's time for a bonus battle. I had to say that in a commentator's voice. But anyway, we're going against Cobra for real, for real, for real, for real, for real. Anyway, he's got a pretty cool looking team. But let me know who you think is going to win in the comment section down below. And with that being said, let's jump straight into the game. And the battle begins. Good luck, have fun, Cobra. So they're going to lead off with not British, the Sinister, <laughs> as we lead off with a Loma Mola. So not a great matchup for us. Um, but if you are watching the bonus battle and you do enjoy the video, Please leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you're not already, or else Aloma Mola will scold you in your sleep and you'll be waking up with burns or I don't know what the hell am I talking about. I figured the chandelier switch was pretty obvious, so they might try and set up a calm mind or go for a shadow ball um, instead of the matcha gotcha. So I figured I'd go for a flip turn here, as they do in fact go for the calm mind, which is amazing. So flip turn comes through. No damage, obviously, but it does break potential sash and also reveal to us whether it's got leftovers or not. So let's go into something that can take care of this thing. I'm leaning towards the River Room because it does resist the, the Matcha Gotcha and they can't really go for it. Uh, River Room can also hit with the Gunk Shot, which would be really cool. So let's go for the River Room real quick. And um, Neum comes in. 
Now, we're going to be, be careful because they will have strength sap, no doubt. And we are going to float in the air of our air balloon, which doesn't really matter in this case. And the only thing that's going to matter for really is the uh, iron treads. But I'm looking at that team and I'm thinking, you know what, Reverend Room actually kind of goes hard. So we've got to make sure we don't lose it here. So I'm going to go for the gunk shot real quick just to make sure we get some damage off. He does miss, unfortunately, which is not the hacks I was looking forward to. As uh, they go for a shadow wall at plus one, which will probably do a lot of damage to us. Um, actually nearly KOs us. So that's unfortunate. The air balloon does pop. Um, but we can wish with Aloma Mola back into the uh, Reverend Room if we really want to. So that's not a big deal. They have got Hisui and Samurai, which we can do that on. So that's fine. So if we assume they're going to go for a Shadow Ball again, um, what's our switching? I'd say maybe Salamence. Uh, we could Terra Steel. That's always a possibility with Dragon Dance. Um, but I don't want to Terra. I really don't want to Terra. You know, River Room... Uh, I'm going to switch into Salamence because I don't think Salamence really cares. You know? I don't, really, I, mean, I, don't, I don't think Salamence really cares if it goes down. Because looking at the team, they're very anti-Salamence. So let's go for the Intimidate, get the Intimidate off, nothing matters. They go for a Shadow Ball. We should be able to take one of these, and then we can retaliate over Dragon Claw. We do take one. We take it better than Rebel Room did. So let's go for the Dragon Claw real quick, and just get damage off on this Sinister real quick. There we go. So that's a nice bit of damage. They go for a Strength Sap, though. <laughs> oh, no! Not the Strength Sap! I thought they'd just take me out. That's annoying. So they're going to get their health back, and that means they're going to take this next Dragon Dance just a little bit better. So they probably did that expecting us to Dragon Dance, but we're just going to Dragon Claw again. You're getting some damage off. They get, oh, they can't mind it. Oh, my God. This might be the game where I get swept by a Sinister. I'm not going to lie. We might get swept by a Sinister here. But it's not not necessarily. Not necessarily. We can still do stuff. So um, let's go for a Dragon Claw again. Just get some more damage off. We might get a crit. You never know. Bit of damage. They go for the Shadow Ball. That's going to take us out. So that's fine. So what I want to do is, because based on the... That was a crit. Nice. Uh, <laughs> didn't matter. Obviously didn't matter. So now that we've weakened the Sinister a little bit, we can probably get get away with um, doing some stuff here. So this Sinister is posing to be a bit of a problem for my team. So I want to go Shandy. I want to trick this thing with a Choice Scarf. And I think I will do that. Because if we can Choice Scarf into Shadow Ball, then we'll actually be golden. We'll actually be golden. So um, I'm going to go for the trick. And I'm hoping they go for a Strength Sap here or a Calm Mind again. They probably go for a Strength Sap or... A straight up for a Shadow Ball. So let's see what they do. Let's see what they do real quick. They do go for the Shadow Ball. So now we know they can't set up more Calm Minds. They can't Strength Sap us. So we let Chandelier go down. Chandelier wasn't doing much for us this game anyway. I mean, they've got a Slow King. They've got a Moltres. they got Hisui and Samurott, which resists both stabs. Wasn't doing much for us. So now we can freely go into Rev Room, for example, in Gunk Shot. And uh, get some damage off. Or we can go for a, um, a Great Tusk knockoff. That could be useful. We could probably take a Shadow Ball as well. Uh, this is going to be a hard game, though, that's for sure, because that Sinister really put in the work. Really put in the work. So um, let's go for that knockoff. Let's get some damage off on this thing. They do outspeed us, obviously, but we should be able to live one. We do live one. That's great. We go for the knockoff again. So now we knocked off their Choice Scarf, but they are in range for knockoff to KO them. So we do outspeed them this turn, and we can get them off with the knockoff, which is amazing. So there we go. Down it goes. Perfect plan. Perfect plan. Great Tusk came through for us. Get rid of the Sinister, which is amazing. <laughs> huh. Wow. That was a panicking situation for our team. So Victorio is going to come in, and that is going to be the QRM, which is definitely going to take us out of a scale shot or something. So that's unfortunate. Uh, QRM is a hard Pokemon to switch into. I would love to get the Stealth Frogs up, but I'm going to have to go for a knockoff here just in case. They go for the Ice Skull Spear, though. They are definitely loaded dice. I'm just glad they didn't go for a scale shot because now it means we can still outspeed them with the Iron Valiant, for example. And Valiant does pretty well against their team, not going to lie. Definitely does pretty well against the team. So Tuscany goes down. Um, the only thing we have to worry about is the Moltres. That's that's the one main thing. So I'm going to go uh, into Aloma Malola. Aloma Lola Lola. Aloma Mola. And I'm going to go for a Wish. I think that is the way to go. I doubt they have Freeze Dry because they are a loaded dice set. They probably have an Icicle Spear, Scale Shot, Dragon Dance, whatever they want to go for. So they're going to withdraw. And they're going to go into what? Flanders? Who's Flanders? The Slow King. Okay, Slow King comes in. That's great. We go for a Wish. We're going to go for a Flip Turn the next turn. We shouldn't outspeed the Slow King because we're minus speed nature. So let's go for the Flip Turn first and foremost. We, we do outspeed still, even though the, I know it's a slow king, but 
I thought maybe because we're zero IVs in speed and we're a negative nature that we would still out, you know, you know, be outsped. But anyway, they more than likely go for a future site here. So I'm going to go into Noom. I'm going to try and get Noom in here, which would be nice. Um, they do go for a chili reception, which is fair enough. Chili reception comes through. And now we just have to... We have to... Reverend Room could put some work in. That's what I'm trying to say. Reverend Room could put some work in, potentially. We do not have the air balloon anymore. Um, but if we assume that they're going to go into a uh, strife, that's going to be the air soon Samurai, right? No, it's the air, Iron Treads. Iron Treads comes in. Is it floating on an air balloon? No, it's booster energy, though. Booster energy, which is very terrifying. So, speed goes up. We get the wish, though, which is going to recover all our HP back, pretty much. And now we can terastalize and go for a shift gear, which is exactly what I'm going to do. So we terastalize first, which means they haven't terastalized their iron treads. River Room could pull this back for us a little bit, which could be really good. And there we are, Terra Ground, like so. I'm really hoping that River Room can pull this back a little bit for us and make it closer or something. But they go for a rapid spin to boost their speed even further, which is terrifying. We go for the shift gear, which is going to take us to plus two speed. But unfortunately, because they got that rapid spin off, they're still going to outspeed us and probably get an ice spinner off. But we have the filter ability, so we can take an ice spinner, I think. Let's go for the high horsepower and hope they don't tear it themselves. They actually go for an EQ, which is going to sting a little bit. Doesn't KO us. We go for that high horsepower. And we know they're not Rocky Helmet, at least. That's going to KO the Iron Tread. So Reverend Room's looking pretty powerful right now. Outspeeds everything on their team. Um, unless they have priority on the uh, Hisuian Samurai, which they may well have. Takovic comes in. What's that going to be? The Moltres. So Moltres comes in nice and shiny. Um, I think they've brought this in because Hisuian Samurai doesn't have Sucker Punch or Aqua Jet. So I'm going to go for a Gunk Shot as my best move for it. We do hit the Gunk Shot, which is amazing. It's plus one. Doesn't get the KO. We do get the Poison, though, which is nice. Um, and that is unfortunately meaning we can get taken out by a flamethrower. So flamethrower comes through. That's going to take us out. So down goes the Reverend Room. But it did pretty good this game. You know, it took out the Iron Treads despite all the odds. It, you know, did a lot of damage to the Moltres. Nearly KO'd it with the poison and everything like that. So, and that's not too bad for Reverend Room. Reverend Room definitely did all right this game. It did all right last game as well, to be fair. Um, with the Terra Ground, it finished off the game. So I think we go Iron Valiant here because we can now. I think we go into the Palindrome first and foremost, because A, they're not going to really be able to do anything to us other than Hurricane. We can go for a Scold. I am going to go for the Scold here. Maybe we should have gone Iron Valley and KO them in knockoff, but I know my can take this thing out with a Scold. I'm sure I can take two, two Scolds. Yeah, after the Poison, two Scolds. After the Poison, two Scolds. So the Snows will stop. None of it matters. I know my Mola actually hardwalls most of their team. Like that Kyurem can't touch us. But the thing is, we can't do anything in return other than Scold. And that's not really good enough. So they roost again. And we're just going to stay in and continue to go for scolds. Because the more they roost, the more likely it is we're going to get a crit. So let's go for a scold again. Bit of damage. There we go. They get dug him down by the poison. Like so. And then we go for another scold. Because there's no reason not to. They withdraw. So they're going to save their Moltres for later. What are they going to go into though? Mustache man. That's going to be the samurai, right? It is. Nice and shiny as well. We can get the burn with a scold here. That'd be clutch. But I don't think we will. We don't. So that's unfortunate. So they're going to get the spikes up. We're definitely... I, I definitely want to get a flip turn off here. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. They go for a ceaseless edge. No damage, of course. Aloma Mola pretty much walls their entire team right now. Other than this... Uh, the, you know, we can't really do anything too slow king. But he can't really do anything to us. Type thing. Uh, unless he's got Sludge Bomb and it poisons us. That's the only way, really. So, um, let's go into Valiant right now. Now that we get a free switch in. We'll get that booster energy in speed. So, there we go. Valiant comes in. We're going to get hit by some spikes. Um, but we do get a free Moonblast off, which is always nice. So, the Quark Drive comes through. Boosts our speed. Can I and Valiant win this game for us? That'd be amazing. That'd be amazing if it could. Let's go for the Moonblast. They might Terra. Um, they don't Terra, though. As Moonblast should take out the... Uh, Samurai as it does, which is amazing. So Samurai goes down. We're looking pretty good. We're making a bit of a comeback. We're making a bit of a comeback. That's for sure. And Flanders is going to come in real quick. That is the Slow King and a half. Um, They probably have Sludge Bomb if they've brought it in. So I'm going to go for a knockoff just to get as much damage off as possible on this thing. 
so that we can then bring in a little molar and hopefully do some damage then. But the knockoff does over half, which is clean. Gets rid of their black sludge. They go for a psychic though. That is probably going to KO Iron Valiant. As it does. So that's unfortunate. We do lose, I think, because Aloma Mola cannot touch these Pokemon. And um, that is for sure. So let's go Aloma Mola. I could sit here and stall with Aloma Mola and go for Wishes, Protect, Scold. Wish, Protect, Scold. Wish, Protect, Scold. I'm not going to do that, obviously, because I, in my opinion, stall is just... I don't really like stall. I just bring it for the, for the Wish, Protect stuff. So they're going to Chillingly Bad Joke. And then they're going to go into what exactly? Are they going to go into the Moltres? Probably the Moltres, if I had to guess. So there we go. The uh, Chili Reception sends them out. And then they bring in the Moltres, I'm guessing. Victoriu. That's going to be the Moltres, right? There's Kyurem. I was like, Kyurem comes in. What's Kyurem doing here? What does Kyurem do here? We can just Skull Burn it, right? I think. This is one heck of a bonus battle, guys. Aloma Mola can't be touched by their entire team, pretty much. So let's go for a Scald. Uh, they go for a Scale Shot, which is unfortunately for them going to miss. <laughs> for real. For real, for real, for real. Um, we go for a Scald, though. That's going to do no damage. And it doesn't get the burn either, which is... Well, it's whatever. I'm not really bothered about the burn. I just want them to take my Aloma Mola out at this point. But let's go for a Scald. The Scale Shot comes through. It's not going to be able to KO us. That's for sure. I'm not going to go for Wish. I'm going to let them take us out because I really don't want to be that guy that sits there Wish stalling with a Loma Mola. So I'm basically just going to scold, 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 scold. That's pretty much all I'm going to do. And finally, the finishing blow is dealt to a Loma Mola as the scale shot comes through from the burned QRM. We got the burn on it to add insult to injury. And the Aloma Mola finally goes down after 10 hours of waiting for it to be able to take taken down. Because I couldn't win that with Aloma Mola. But it was going to be a very slow victory either way. So that is unfortunate. <laughs> But GG Cobra, that was a fun one. It was a nice little W for you. Nice one, nice one. But anyway, here is the team. Try it out if you want to use the code at the top right corner of the screen. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you did enjoy, of course, leave a like, subscribe, all the wonderful stuff. And with that being said, I'll see you all in a bit.